Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 10. The Becker County Sheriff says if you're not doing anything this weekend, head down to your lake home. He's talking about break-ins, and as we've been telling you, they've been impacting communities in Lakes Country. But Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer has some tips on how you can protect your getaway home. Summer or winter, it doesn't matter. We love our lakes. And that's why a lot of you have a cabin or a lake home. But when you're away in these winter months, do you keep a close eye on that house? One of the main things is you want to make your home look like it's lived in, like somebody's there. Uh, whether it be uh, leaving a light on, having that uh, light on a timer. And Sheriff Glander and, says uh, it's not just the cabins you, you need to make sure are secure but fish houses too. And the sheriff tells us social media can play a part in these break-ins. He says to be careful when posting about leaving town. But there's also an upside to social media. In the FM area, it has helped capture bad guys and allow neighbors to alert one another. But even in a place where everyone knows everybody, like in Underwood, which has also had a rash of break-ins, there's deep concern. It's a small, close-knit community and you know, I, I don't know of anything but uh, of, of who this may or may not be, but it seems like they're very familiar with the layout, and uh, these last ones on Monday night were pretty brazen. Now, Sheriff Glander tells us suspects are looking for things they can grab quickly and sell. So he says to keep any valuables like guns, stereos, gaming consoles out of sight and hidden in your home. And what Glander tells us about these lake homes also ties in to those of you who will be leaving town soon to visit a warmer climate for spring break. In Becker County, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. The Underwood resident we spoke with tells us the community is taking these break-ins seriously. The South Turtle Lake Improvement District is offering a reward for any information that can lead to an arrest of the culprits. And for a full list of tips on how you can keep your home safe when you're gone, head to our website, valleynewslive.com. West Fargo school officials are investigating a vicious fight between two students on a school bus yesterday. We use the word vicious because video was shared to our Facebook page this afternoon from the mom of a student on the bus. The video was later pulled from social media and copyright laws don't allow us to show it to you without permission. Meanwhile, the district confirmed the fight was on a bus parked in a high school lot after school. The bus driver followed protocol and left the bus to get another adult to assist with the situation. The two students involved were dealt with by school administration. The district will follow policy in determining punishment. Soon we'll be cheering about the double-digit temps, but tonight it's no party when you're headed back to the deep freeze. Hutch, how low are we expected to go tonight? Well, already we have wind chills between 20 and 30 degrees below zero up and down the valley. It's pretty breezy out there as temperatures begin their plummet tonight. Another very cold night with clear skies and windy throughout. So we have that wind chill advisory expecting temperatures to be in the teens below zero here in Fargo and even colder in parts of western Minnesota to start your weekend. Coming up though, a nice little moderation in temperatures. No, I will not call it a heat wave, but at least we're going to be going in the right direction. I'll share those details here in just a few moments. Okay, thanks, Hutch. You bet. And make sure you have the Valley News Live Storm Team weather app so you can keep up with the weather anytime, anywhere. You'll get the latest forecasts and conditions so that you can plan your day. Just search VNL Weather in the App Store and download it for free. A problem with the water at the elementary school in Lisbon, North Dakota, caused the school to shut down today. Some upset parents contacted our whistleblower hotline. The water went out yesterday around 1130 and officials chose to keep students in school. One parent saying his child only had a single container of milk to drink all day long. The Lisbon Elementary School principal says the school stayed open because they kept thinking the problem was about to be fixed at any minute. It's happened before. We've had it fixed within no time and everything's been able to move on. And that's what we thought was going to happen yesterday. We've never had something like this. The school principal and other teachers tell us the kids were escorted to either the middle school or high school throughout the day for bathroom breaks and to fill up water bottles. The problem is expected to be fixed in time for school on Monday. A whistleblower called Valley News Live saying there was an underage drinking party at a Thief River Falls teacher's home. And after checking into it, there was an alleged sexual assault at that party. 
Court documents say 19-year-old Logan Lane is being charged with criminal sexual conduct for taking advantage of a female who was helpless due to intoxication. The party took place on December 27th with up to 20 graduates from Lincoln High School in Thief River Falls. It's unclear if anyone at the party was still in high school. We contacted the school superintendent who was unaware of the incident but said they will look to do whatever they can to ensure the safety of their students and staff. We reached out to the teacher involved but never got a response. We also called Thief River Falls Police Chief Dick Wittenberg and was told he's out of town and never returned our multiple calls for comment. And remember, you can call our whistleblower hotline if you need help with a serious issue in your community. 237-6576. Call and leave your tip, and then we will do our best to get to the bottom of it. Two jury trials for a former area police chief facing child abuse sex charges have been canceled. An attorney says former Lemoore police chief James Watson is set to change his plea for cases in Hedinger and Stark counties. He had originally pled not guilty to continuous sexual abuse of a child in both cases. Watson was convicted last week in Golden Valley County on similar charges. A North Dakota man is facing felony charges after allegedly setting fire to an apartment complex because he was angry about another man sleeping with his girlfriend. Court documents say that 20-year-old Quentin Leonard admitted to several people that he was responsible for the blaze. He's facing multiple charges, including arson, which is a felony. Leonard is also charged with criminal mischief for hitting and breaking a window with his head at a home in Sheldon. Five people who were living in that Lisbon fourplex that was destroyed by fire on Monday lost everything. Leonard is in the Barnes County Jail with bail set at $200,000. A middle school principal has people on edge in one Minnesota city. They say he's been stalking parents and police. But first, the Olympics might inspire you to try a new sport. If that's the case, you'll want to know how to go about it safely.